exercise is really useful as a preventative movement to help to offset some of the tension that we're going to find in our false grip training down these forearm flexors. And effectively, what I want to do is start to strengthen some of these extensor muscles, which is going to then create a better balance between the flexors and the extensors and take some tension and pressure off of this false grip pattern by strengthening out the opposite way. Now, if you've got a dumbbell, if you're in a gym or in your home setup, this is really simple, but you can also use a band if you've got access to one of those. And effectively, what we're going to try and do is put the, uh, the forearm up onto a box or a bench or something stable. And we're going to go from this flex position and we're going to pull up. And the really important part about this is that we lower down slowly under control. We want to work that eccentric. If you're using a dumbbell, five kilos or something like that is going to be enough. Work up 12 to 15 reps and you'll soon feel how this kind of uh, is going to impact your wrist uh, or your forearm strength. So if I'm going to use a band, I might just loop it over so I've got a grip on it. I can just anchor the other side down underneath my knee, hold it for a little bit of support. And then all I'm going to do is going to pull up, hold that top end position and then go back down slowly under control, pull back through, pause at the top and then back down under control. It's a time under tension that we're looking for on this one. So don't just be like pounding away, just trying to get the reps in. Do it with control position and fashion, and that's gonna to help to build up these forearm extensors, create some better balance from front to back. Okay.